Shane Maloney is a 19 year old content creator with 208,000 subscribers. His content consists of heavily sampled music and mashups of animation memes. Now you may be thinking, why are you talking about this guy? He doesn't sound like he's done anything wrong. Well you see, Shane has been exposed as a groomer and he was also heavily associated with Popsicle Cats as Shane was Popsicle Cats cleanup artist. Well imagine my shock! You know, there are some things that you shouldn't ever do in life if you want to keep your reputation. Being a cleanup artist for this fuckhead? Yeah! Isn't one of the things you should be fucking doing, you cunt? In this DM chat here, he says the following. Also, I need to tell you this. About me. I'm the Well, it's because I tweet to her inappropriate at. I tweet her and said, Cute and sexy, can you do more? Her name was Lumi. Ironically enough, he was tweeting this to someone at the time called Lumi. I assume he was referring to someone called Lumi Star Bun, a person who has caused a lot of drama in the past. In these two images here, he explains that someone was taking this great sexy pose and explained how they met through a Lumi fan server after he got banned. He then explained that he and this anonymous person would roleplay sexually together, despite the fact that this person was indeed a minor. Stretching forward to present day, Shane got exposed and after a bit of time, he made a response which I will have the absolute misfortune of not only reading but also breaking down. Alright fine, you got me. First of all, Nani tweeted about him. Hold the fucking phone mate. Are you implying that Nani was your main influence to go over to Popsicle Cat, start talking to him and then help him with his art? If that's the case then you're just trying to play the victim and I'm already very close to dismissing this admission as a tweet to blame someone else for your own actions. I'll put this a bit more simpler for you Shane. It's your fucking fault. It's not Nani's fault. It's not anyone else's fault. It's your fault. Don't you fucking dare try to blame anyone else for your actions. You're absolutely disgraceful and you don't even deserve your fucking platform. I'm gonna try and salvage what's left of this abysmal as fuck tweet. Maybe there's a redeeming factor in it. I met him on Instagram. Then he sent me with that pic and I clean up his art. Finally, I posted it to my another Instagram account and now I got exposed. I assume when he says his other Instagram account he means this one, although I may be wrong and this may be someone else's account. If the latter is correct then I have no fucking clue why I have this saved as evidence against him, but if the former's correct then honestly I am ashamed in him. He shouldn't be doing this anyway. Look, I know you guys feel disgusted and this is all my fault. I'm extremely messed up everything, but what should I do if I get exposed? Here's my advice. Leave the internet. What you have done is unforgivable in my eyes and the fact that you tried to blame Nani in your previous tweet only makes me despise you even more. I know that you've came out and admitted to what you've done. I'll give you that, you have bollocks for that. But like I just said earlier, it's unforgivable in my eyes. Leave the internet and either get professional help or submit yourself to the authorities. I know I got a bit serious there, but I honestly feel that it was necessary. I think it's sickening that Shane thinks that he can go out and associate with Popsicle Cat, groom a minor, sexually roleplay with another minor and then admit to his mistakes by citing Nani as his influence to start associating with Popsicle Cat, all the while having 208,000 subscribers. That's pathetic. For someone with 208,000 subscribers, that's actually low. That's fucking scummy. Sucks as well because he actually had potential with his heavily sampled music. Oh well, I guess there's no future in that anymore. So what's my final conclusion? When it comes to Shane Maloney, I think he should leave the internet. Even if he does get professional help, he's still going to be burdened with the fact that he groomed minors. Along with that, I don't think he deserves his platform because he could have put them at risk just for being somewhat associated with him. I say this because we live in an era where guilt by association runs rampant and it stretched to the point where even if you speak to someone without knowing the bad stuff that they've done, you're also guilty and it fucking sucks. I'll give Shane credit because he has two choices but you need to fuck off from the face of the earth immediately. You're a disgusting human being. This is the part where I say the sappiest fuck. Like, comment and subscribe bullshit which I will get to but 
I think this should be the part where I say that sharing the video is more important right now. As of this recording, I believe that Shane has left the internet. You're not the victim, you fucking cunt! Anyway, my name Head, you've been watching Ed, Iron Maiden, subscribe.